and my leg just, within two weeks time, it just kept growing, 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 growing. For 12 years, Lizanne has been living with lymphedema, a swelling caused by blocked lymph vessels that made her right leg swell up to three times its original size. I had an original fall 10 years ago right in my kitchen and I broke my kneecap and, and my, about a year later my leg started to swell. I always wore dresses and high heels and I noticed one week that my leg looked larger than normal and a little swollen. I was like sitting, looking, why is my leg looking like this? I don't really know what I thought it was. I believed it was some kind of a minor swelling that was going to disappear, same as it had come. My house was immaculate and I exercised every day, every month more and more and more fluid. The more I'm sitting, so then I gain actual real weight, you know, weight that I didn't have before because I'm not moving. The drastic size of her leg has made it nearly impossible to exercise or even find clothes to fit both legs. I'm on my bed a lot because it's the most comfortable thing for me. When I'm up moving around, it's awkward. It makes me very short of breath. Since I was 14 years old, I weighed 110 pounds and suddenly I was like 170 pounds. And now I'm at 220 pounds. I don't have any kind of love life, like zero. I don't date. I wouldn't, even if somebody looked at me, I would think they're looking at me because of my huge leg. My son lives with me, Taylor, and he does take a huge burden off of me with helping me with, you know, the house and the animals, the yard. Just seeing what she's going through is it's difficult for any son or, you know, daughter or anyone that's, that has a mom going through something like this. Okay. I mean, she, uh, she still, you know, fights to try and do, like, activities, but it's just so evident that everything she does is a struggle. I spent a lot of years with no help, so I will not ever be heard of it, absolutely. If they had caught this in the very first very, very beginning, like in the first few weeks that it started swelling, and someone I had gotten with someone who knew what they were doing, yes, it could have probably even stopped at the very onset. It's funny, I don't even remember the word lymphedema. The word lymphedema needs to be out in this world a lot more than it is. I mean, it's still very costly. It is what it is. I'm doing the best I can with a really, really bad situation. After years of struggling to find support for her condition, Lizanne finally found a nurse who was able to help her manage her symptoms. So to hear that somebody's gonna help me, I was thrilled. And for the next four months, we worked on this leg and she got it down significantly. The, the swelling going down in my bottom of my leg has made such a difference. I feel like it may not ever get back to a normal size, but I feel like it, if she keeps up with the maintenance of it, she'll be able to have a, more of a normal lifestyle and not feel afraid to go out. I'm hopeful that she's going to, um, you know, get back to be able to put on a regular pair of pants or wear the same shoes. Her nurse said that, you know, there's a possibility she may be able to get her one foot with the lymphedema in it to, uh, to be able to put on a booty in the winter, like something other than, you know, just the wrapping or a slipper or something. She's so excited for that, you know, things, little things like that, you know, lift her spirits. I hope that my leg will go down to normal and that I, I just wanna get back to the little things. That I wanna go back to doing the things around my house without looking at it as the, a chore and looking at it as a joy again, like I used to.